In this video, I will be disassembling this GE LED blood light. I have a series of these in my house, and this is the fourth one that has failed within three years of less than two hours a day of use. I've decided to go ahead and take this one apart and show you how to disassemble it and what LED components are on the inside of the light. The first step to disassembly is to remove this plastic top. Just to the right of the GE logo, is a clip holding the plastic top to the housing. I'm gonna use this hook tool to slide in and release the clip and pop the top off. Okay. So there's the plastic top removed and here we can see the inside. The inside of the light consists of this reflector bowl with the LED circuit board. The circuit board is soldered into place, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the clips off to free it from the reflector. Here we can see that there was a bit of thermal paste between the LED board and the reflector. Next, I will remove the three Phillips head screws holding the bowl in place. With the three Phillips head screws removed, we can now slide this bowl up and out of the way. Here we can see that the wires are soldered in place and you cannot get the LED board around this bowl without cutting the wire. At the bottom of the light appears to be a ballast that's encoded in, in an epoxy. I used a pair of pliers to remove the electrical connector and here we can see that it was soldered on and I broke part of the little circuit board. But then I was able to pop out the bottom piece here and I removed as much of this epoxy rubber stuff as I could. And here is what I can see of the circuit board the best I could of removing all of the, the stuff that it was coated in. But you can kind of see what components were, were used in making this board. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.